Kwenye kimaliza naomba kutoka Western uh, Chris Wamala kwa karibu kumaliza. Haya. Your Excellency President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta Former Prime Minister Raila Amoro Odinga Mheshimiwa Musari Mudavadi and family All protocol observed Mimi naitwa Jeremiah Kioni Na niko Sawa nitawabia Niko na fulaha leo Kupata na fasi ya kuja Kuwa na familia Ya rafiki yangu Wycliffe Musaria Mudavadi Nimeka hapa nimesikiza Yale ambayo yamesemwa na watoto Yale ambayo Marafiki wamesema Na nimepata kumuelewa Mweshimua Musari ya Zaidi Na nitawabia ni kwa nini Sababu yake ni kwa sababu 2013 2013 My brother who is standing next to me picked me as his learning mate and we learn a campaign in this country where the president today was a candidate now he is the president we had the former prime minister who was also a candidate and we had others and after we learned the campaign and the voting was done Some individuals decided that they knew who voted for who and who did not vote. That news item was carried in this country by the national media and they say that Honorable Jeremiah Kioni did not vote for Musaria Mudavadi. When, when that item was aired by Citizen, by KTN and by Nation, my brother who is standing next to me called me and inquired and I went to his house and I must say that today I understand where the character of this gentleman next to me came from because as a politician he should have thrown me out insulted me and used all the unkind words any other person can use but himself and the wife were kind enough to ask what is all this about the long and short of the story is that it was a lie we have been to court just for the record and the court have even awarded me damages for defamation that occurred against the media houses
I voted for Musaria Mudavadi. I did not vote for my good friend Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. You need to be a person who has been brought up very well to be able to withstand the ridicule that was happening all over the world, and particularly uh, in this country. Even our own people used it to try and bring him down. And I start here before you today, when we are bowing this wonderful lady, and tell you that today in this hall, we have wonderful national leaders, and they are here, led by the president we, we have, we have the prime minister here, we have my brother here, Mudavadi. we have Karonzo here, and I want to tell you, the thinking that you must vote for only a person who belongs to your tribe has been debunked by what we have heard from this lady. I came all the way from Daragua to come and be with my brother, a person I respect. He picked me from among many other people, Sikuwa Najina Kenya hii, lakini aliniona na akanishukua. Mimi heshima yangu kwake hawezi ukaielewa. Na hayo matusi ambayo tumeenda through ni ya kutujenga kama wanasiasa. Na tutaendelea kwa sababu Kenya ni kubwa kuliko matusi kidogo. Tuugane pamoja, tuweke Kenya pamoja, ile salamu ambayo hiko katikati ya rais uhuru mwigai Kenyatta na prime minister. We all embrace it. And this country will be the better if you think of your neighbor the way Mama Hana thought of the neighbors. Ati akiwa na rombi, anaambia watu, nedeni yumbani mukure chakura. Those are the characters of the people we want as leaders. And finally, happiness. Nimesikia kwamba, the honeymoon, alilalia matawi. What is it called? Yamadiz. Banana. Banana leaves. So if that is, again, I don't want to get to Kwasia Saire Kali, like in honesty, that is a very humble beginning. All we need to do is bring our children well to open Mwenyez Mungu. We work hard. We all look like, we will all look like dynasty. Mwenyez Mungu Abaliki, thank you so much. And thank you. I respect you, my brother. Thank you. You stood with me. I came to start with you. May God give you the strength. Thank you so much. Asante sana Nataka ni seme hivi Tulikuja kwa mazishi ya mama Hana Atuku kuja kwa competition ya kisiasa We have to respect that And the person who should be ashamed Is the one who lied That Jeremiah Kioni never voted for me Yet they were not in that polling station because a number of you believed the lie. Shame on you. And that is what we should get rid of in Kenya. Believing in lies. Jeremiah has stood here with courage because he knows he stood for the truth in the, how he cast his vote at that time. He even lost his seat. And we want to make it look like it's political competition here? No. Please let us respect even the head of state and the people here. Let us show a new beginning for Kenya. Thank you.